Hello friends, welcome to CNC Programming Club. In today's session, we will be discussing about cleanup corners operation, which is mostly being used to remove material from these corners. For this exercise, we will use this component. And if you want to download this 3D model, you can find its download link in the description box. Now let's start manufacturing. Go to application, then manufacturing, select cam general and mill planner option from this. Now let's start with the step number one. Go to machine tool view, then create tool. Let me retrieve the tool from the library. I will be using milling tool. I will be using 30 millimeter diameter and mill cutter. So let me specify the diameter of the tool and click OK. And here you can see that all the diameter 30 millimeter tool will be displayed. Let me select and mill and click OK. Let me specify one more tool. So go to retrieve tool from the library, select milling tool. This time I will be using end mill of diameter 10 millimeter. So let me specify the diameter and click OK. As you can see, all the 10 millimeter diameter tools will be displayed. Let me select the first option, which is end mill diameter 10 mm and click OK. Click cancel and if you want to display the tool, just select the tool and the tool will be displayed. Now let's start with step number two. Go to geometric view and just double click on this workspace option. Let's specify part, click here, select the component and click OK. The next thing that we have to do is specify blank. So click here. I will be using bounding block option into this and click OK. Now we have to shift up our MCS. As you can see that our MCS lies at the bottom surface and we wanted to shift it to the top surface. So in order to do that, we just need to have thickness first. So let me measure the thickness for that. We have to go to the analysis, then measure distance. Select the top and the bottom edges and you can see the thickness is 25 millimeter. Now just double click onto the MCS and in Z coordinate, just specify the thickness which is 25 millimeter and you can see that MCS is shifting from bottom surface to the top surface and click OK. As you can see that step number two is over. Let's start with the step number three. Go to home. Click on create operation. At first we have to remove material from this region. And to do that we have multiple options like floor and wall operation, floor and wall with IPW, face milling boundaries, face milling manual operation as well as planner mill operations. Out of this, I can utilize any options to remove material from this region. Let me select the floor and wall operation from this. In program, we have to select NC program. In tool, we have to select the larger diameter tool, which is end mill diameter 30 millimeter. In geometry, we have to select workspace, and in method, we have to select mill finish and click OK. Now let's specify the cut area floor. So click on this and select the cut area and click OK. Now in cut pattern, we have to specify the follow periphery option. Now I will specify the floor blank thickness, which is 20 millimeter, which is the thickness starting from this top surface to these edges, which is 20 millimeter. So I have entered 20 millimeter as floor blank thickness. I will be going with 5 millimeter depth of cut. In cutting parameter, I will be changing the pattern directions. Default option is outward option, which means that the tool will start cutting from inward and then tool goes to the outward side. So which is not the good sign for this. Let me change it 
to inward options now inward option means that the tool will start cutting from outward and it goes to the inward which is the best option for this so i change the pattern direction to inward option click ok and generate the toolpath as you can see that our tool is been interacting outward first then it goes to the inward now click ok and let's verify the toolpath reduce the animation speed and run the simulations here as you can see that the tool is interacting outward first then it goes to the inward and some of the material stays here because we have utilized larger diameter of the tool In the next cut, we will be removing this material which is being left out from the operation 1. And for that, we will be using cleanup corners operation. Click OK and let's start with the second operation which is cleanup corner. Go to create operation, select the cleanup corners operation. In program, we have to select NC program in tool. We have to change the tool from 30 millimeter animal diameter to the 10 millimeter end mill in geometry select workpiece and in method select the mill finish option and click ok now first thing that we have to do is specify part boundaries so click on specify part boundaries in mode select cover edges option from this select the tangent curves and start selecting the curves Here you can see that I have selected this region. In material side, you just observe that material is onto the outside of this region. So in material side, we have to select outside option and click OK. Now the next thing that we have to do is specify blank boundaries. In this, we have to select cows or edges option. From this, select the tangent curves and start selecting the blank boundaries as you can see i have selected all the blank boundaries and the blank material will be inside of this region so in material side i have to select inside option and click ok now the next thing that we have to do is specify floor so go to specify floor and select the floor plan and click ok now let's specify the depth of cut. So go to cut level. You have to select constant type depth of cut. Let me specify 5 millimeter depth of cut and click OK. And let's enter the toolpath. Here you can observe that the toolpath has been created all over the region. However, we just wanted to have toolpath into this corner regions. And if you run the simulations, the tool will be moving without cutting since we already removed the material from this region. Now let's verify that first. So click OK and click on verify toolpath. Just reduce the animation speed and run the simulations. Here as you can see that the tool is being not interacting with material because we have already removed material from this region. We just wanted to remove the material from this corner regions only now to correct this just stop this simulation and go back to cleanup corner then go to cutting parameters go to containment and find in process workspace option in this select the second option which is use reference tool if you select these options it will consider the tool which we have utilized in previous operation and it will cut along that regions only and select the reference tool that we have utilized in previous operation so select this and you will find the multiple tools options as you know that in previous operation we have utilized end mill diameter 30 millimeter so select that option click ok and generate the toolpath.
Now here as you can see that the toolpath has been generated within this region. Let's verify toolpath, reduce the animation speed and run the simulation. Here as you can see that the tool is cutting in the corner regions only. But here one issue is that it cuts only 5 mm depth into one corner then it switches to the another corner like this. 5 mm cutting at one corner at a time then it switch over to the next corner. So it adds on lots of non cutting movements and it adds on lots of time in the operations. In order to solve this what we can do just stop this. Go back to cleanup corner, go to cutting parameter, then go to strategy and find cut order. In cut order default option is level first which means that all the first depth of cut level will be cut first then it goes to the next level. From this you have to select depth first which means that it will cut a particular region up to the total depth then after it goes to the next region. Let's select this option, click OK and generate the toolpath. Click OK and let's verify the toolpath. Now here you will see that the tool is cutting one region first then after it goes to the next region so that we can save lots of time into this. Now let me just rotate the component and you can see that all the material has been removed properly. That's all related to cleanup corners operation. If you really like our sessions, can you like, share and subscribe. If you are having any doubt related to this tutorial, kindly share that on comments. Thank you so much.